this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Good morning, Lee Bear. Sometimes you just can't stay away from me. Sometimes you hear Stampy's having fun on the balcony, and you just have to come and say hello, and it looks like Esther is having a lot of fun as well. I did a mistake though, Lee. I accidentally ate a tiny bit of Esther's cake by accident, and I'll tell you what, it wasn't very tasty. Apparently, having a chicken jumping up and down on a cake all day does not make it any tastier. <laughs> oh, at least uh, Esther's still having fun. There's still uh, plenty left for her to jump up and down on. And uh, hopefully, Lee Bear has plenty of cake for me to, to eat. Let's go and uh, have some food on the balcony. And let's go and... Nom, nom, nom. Oh, I should eat quick for Esther jumps on it. Nom, 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 nom. Ah, <laughs> absolutely delicious. Right then, uh, let's go and uh, head over to the uh, the love garden. I've actually uh, got some really cool pictures to, to share to, uh, with you uh, that was sent to me by one person. And the person who sent them to me is... Oh, not over there, over here. <laughs> Arika M. And uh, yeah, Arika sent me these amazing pictures. And she basically cut out bits of paper and put them in the real world. You can see she made me and Squid. And then there's an adorable one of me looking at a huge cake. And then there's like a puss and boots one and like a Nian stampy cat one and I thought they are absolutely adorable and are such a, a, a cool idea I wanted to say thank you very much Arika for sending them to me and welcome to my love garden all right then uh, let's go and uh, head over to the uh, the dog house then leave there and uh, decide which dog I'm going to be taking with me uh, in today's episode and it's a good episode today because uh, we're about to begin building a brand new project which is always exciting I always like uh, sharing my ideas and when we uh, start making something new uh, that's going to be in my lovely world uh, forever and uh, speaking of things that are going to be in my lovely world forever. I've got my dogs here. And I'll tell you what, Lee Bear, I'm always picking my dogs uh, these days. So why don't you go and uh, decide which dog uh, you want uh, me to, to take with me? So just go and stand behind uh, whichever sign and uh, I'll take that dog with me. It looks like he's choosing Gregory Jr. Gregory Jr. Okay, then, Lee Bear, that means you've got to head to the fun land and get him. We're building over here. <laughs> right then, let's go and uh, get Gregory Jr. I'm going to go and head all the way over to the fun land, get Gregory Jr. and come all the way back. I think it's fair, it's fair. If Lee Bear uh, wants me to take Gregory Jr. and then I'm going to take him. I guess uh, it's going to give me a, a good chance uh, to explain what it is uh, that we're going to, to be building uh, in, uh, in today's episode and we're actually going to be building a candy shop which is something which I think is absolutely shocking. I have not built in my lovely world before. It's long overdue and so yeah I'm going to go and build a, uh, a big shop full of sweets and I've decided to call it my sweetie pie candy shop. And the reason I'm calling it my sweetie pie candy shop is because the entire building is going to be in the shape of a big pie, but not any pie, a sweetie pie, which is basically uh, a pie which is full of candy. <laughs> and so uh, what we're going to be doing in this episode is basically building a big pie, and it's going to look like it's full of very, very colourful candy. And uh, yeah, then inside uh, it's going to be also very colourful and uh, full of all of the uh, the different sweets and candy uh, that I can I can think of. And I'm going to be doing that while being joined by Gregory Jr. Here's a, a big surprise for you, Gregory Jr. <laughs> he was sitting over here, a uh, very uh, patiently in my golf course. Actually, do I have aha? I have ender pearls on me. This is a, a nice quick way to, to get around. If I just ender pearl, I can try and hopefully uh, ender pearl back to, to where we're building and uh, this will take no time at all. Oh, I want to avoid the uh, the radio antenna there. <laughs> that would be a bad place to land. And here we go. Uh, we're back already and I'm actually uh, not building next to the clock tower or the uh, the radio station. Uh, that is because we're going to be building out of stone and wood and because that building's made out of wood and that building's made out of stone uh, I didn't want the uh, this building to look too similar. Uh, so we're actually going to build it about in the, the middle here, uh, just opposite uh, opposite my Hotel of Dreams. So uh, let's go and, uh, and start building then, shall we? Uh, so as I said, uh, the, the bottom uh, is going to, to be made out of stone. So I just need to go uh, five along here. I think uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then I basically need to try and make a circle. So if I kind of go two this way and then do a block in the middle here and then go two in this direction, uh, then if I do five again, if I go one, two, uh, three, four, uh, five like this. I can then basically uh, go and uh, keep doing the, the same. So once I've done this five, I then need to go two across, one, two. I then need to go one in the middle, and then two across this way, like this, and then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, yeah, if we do this correctly, uh, we should hopefully end up with a, a big circle. So I need to do that one. Oh, <laughs> looks like Lee Bear did it for me. And does this look like a, a big circle? It does. It looks like a lovely uh, big circle. So this is where uh, the uh, the pie shop uh, is going to, to be. So we now uh, need to go and uh, start building up. 
So uh, I'm actually, oh, actually, I'm only going to go up two high. Actually, no, I'll go, I'll go up three high. And then what we're going to do is at the end, we're going to go and actually make the uh, the bottom a little bit thinner. And we're basically going to build in uh, just to make the uh, the entire thing a bit rounded. So the reason we're using uh, this stone is it's supposed to look like, uh, you know, the, the trays that pies come in. You know, when you put them in the oven, uh, a pie tray. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> it's basically uh, going to be like one of them. And then on the, the top, uh, we're going to be putting all of the uh, the colored wall in. And uh, that is basically going uh, to be all of the, the different sweets. And then on the top, we're going to be using wood, which is supposed to be the pastry. And I know wood probably doesn't sound a lot like pastry, <laughs> but I think it should look uh, pretty good, hopefully. And uh, now we just need uh, to build out uh, the entire way along here. So I'm going to grab some dirt and I'm going to be able to place the, the dirt down. Uh, so then I can go and place the uh, the stone uh, on the, the dirt. So if I kind of go like this, uh, I basically just don't want to, to fill uh, the uh, the inside in too much. So I can just place the, the dirt and then just go and place the uh, the stone on the, the outside. And then that will almost uh, be the, uh, the entire outside outside of uh, this completely done. So if I go and uh, build along here like this, uh, then the only thing I need to do is, as I said, jump down and uh, just make it so that the... Um yeah, I need to make it so that the inside bit uh, just goes a little bit thinner, because uh, if it's uh, going too straight, uh, then it just looks uh, a little bit uh, weird. So there we go, this is uh, all filled in, and so now if I go along on the inside here and build this uh, the uh, the whole way along here, and then I can go back outside and just break away the outside row, and it should hopefully uh, look like a nice uh, a nice sweetie pie. That's what the, the plan is. Well, at the moment it's just going to look like a pie. Well, it's going to look like a pie tray, but once we add all of the, the coloured wall in, uh, that's when it's going to start looking like a, like a sweetie pie. And in the inside is going to be ridiculously colorful as well that's basically going to be the the theme and each color uh, is going to represent uh, one of the uh, the different types of uh, sweets uh, that we're going to, to sell uh, in our in our candy shop so uh, here's the uh, this bit done uh, so now all I need to do is go around the outside and break it away like this and uh, hopefully uh, it's going to, to look like a, a proper sweetie pie so let's go and uh, break uh, the whole way around here I think I need to do that one as well yep uh, just keep going around this way but I just want to make sure that there's uh, no holes uh, leading into where the actual shop is uh, because then I don't know we get a load of rats coming in and eating all of the uh, the sweets or something. <laughs> so let's go and uh, keep breaking the uh, the way around here and uh, then we can do the, the fun thing and actually start putting down uh, all of the uh, the actual coloured wall. And oh, we need a doorway as well. We need uh, a way to, to get in. Uh, so I think here I'm going to have a, a doorway about here. If I build up like this and then do like this. There we go. This is going to be the uh, the little entranceway. Uh, that is uh, going to be how we get into the uh, the sweetie pie. <laughs> right then, let's go now and start doing the, uh, the coloured wall, shall we? And so the way we're going to do this is we're going to make sure it's completely random. Uh, rather than doing a, a pattern, I want to make sure it's 100% random. So rather than just us thinking we're doing it randomly, I'm going to do it officially random. I'm going to go and uh, put a dropper down here. And then I'm going to go and do a little redstone clock here, uh, which is going to basically uh, make it so that the uh, the dropper is continually uh, firing out different coloured uh, pieces of uh, of wool. And so then that way, whatever uh, piece of coloured wool comes out, that is the the colour that we need uh, to to place down. Uh, so we're not actually going to to be choosing uh, which wool, just basically whatever wool comes out, uh, that's what uh, we're going to to throw down. So if I go and uh, pull all these back, uh, if I go and set this redstone off, uh, there's going to be wool uh, just being uh, continually fired out uh, from the the dropper. So now uh, all I need to do is I uh, go and uh, and grab the the wool itself so I've got a chest here uh, we got some red wool orange wool yellow wool lime wool cyan wool blue wool purple wool pink wool and green wool so we, these are all the the different colors and uh, these are all going to represent uh, one of the the different flavors of uh, of candy uh, we're going to, to have in the uh, the shop and uh, while I'm doing this Lee you want to go and put some torches around here uh, just because it's uh, about to, to become dark we want to make sure uh, we can see what colors we're placing down and actually if I just make a, a, a redstone torch uh, if I place that down uh, that is going to, to be able uh, to set off all of the uh, the redstone uh, going and we can go and try if we can and uh, go and place it all down so uh, we should be just about ready so if I place this and break it and uh, then the wall is going to start firing out so it looks like uh, the first color is going to, to be blue and now uh, all we need to do is uh, just go and uh, place down uh, all of the the wall up here so we just got to place down uh, whatever gets fired out and uh, yeah not worry about whether it's matching whether there's a pattern just whatever wall fires out we need to place it as fast as we can let's see if we can try and uh, keep up with the uh, the dropper shall we let's see if we can place things uh, as fast as it's getting fired out. I don't think we can. <laughs> I don't think we're doing uh, a very good job. Hopefully if we do it uh, together, uh, we might be able to, to keep up with it and uh, just try and place all of the, the walls. So this is going to be the, uh, the ceiling 
uh, on the inside and then also between the uh, the pastry uh, you're going to be able to see it on the the outside as well so we're basically building uh, the ceiling and the the roof at the uh, the same time uh, so once this is done uh, the actual uh, building of the the sweetie pie will be almost uh, done already and this is quite a fun way to do it <laughs> if ever like you don't know what to build out of you know you can't decide what uh, types of blocks you want to use if you just go and do this and you can fill it with all sorts it doesn't just have to be uh, different colored pieces of wool uh, you can just fill it full of whatever you want and then just basically make it so that whatever fires out uh, that's the uh, the color uh, that you have to use it's kind of quite a, a fun way make a quite a good challenge as well actually if it just fires out random things and you don't know what you're going to get and then you just have to build out of uh, whatever you get it might be quite a, a fun way for you to be able to build when you can't really uh, plan uh, what you're going to, to build out of i might actually also uh, go and uh, throw down a, a few torches on the, the floor down here uh, just so we can see what we're we're doing a little bit better and yeah let's go and uh, carry on uh, placing down uh, all of this uh, wall lucky it's uh, firing it down quite quick and uh, me and Lee are both able uh, to, to place them down uh, so yeah we're getting this done uh, pretty speedily and as you can see uh, there's going to be some bits where some of the colors are the same next to each other and sometimes you know it looks like the pattern's a bit weird uh, but this is the only way to do it completely random it's very difficult uh, when you're planning to uh, do something random uh, to make it actually random we always kind of accidentally start making patterns and things uh, so by doing it like this it is 100% random and whatever it ends up being uh, I'm not going to change it it's going to stay uh, just as that pattern and uh, that's just what it's going to, to be uh, for the uh, for the entire time so let's just go and uh, try and place some of these up here and then, yeah, as I said, uh, once we've done that, uh, we're going to go and do the uh, the pastry. And so it's just going to be, it's going to be oak wood uh, slabs, I thought was the uh, the most pastry type <laughs> color. And even the uh, the texture of the uh, the wooden planks uh, actually, I think, makes it uh, look uh, quite like a, a pastry as well. And it's going to be basically strips of, uh, of half slabs uh, going uh, around the place. Uh, but every time they cross, uh, it's going to go and be slightly raised, uh, just like it would look like uh, on, a, on an actual uh, real pie as well. So come on, you're stealing all of the blocks, Illy. I'm not getting any. <laughs> you're just standing there and I'm not getting any. I can actually probably speed it up. If I go and do this, I think it's actually uh, going to go and get fired a little bit quicker. There we go. You can hear it. it's getting faster now. Now we need to, <laughs> to try and make sure that we uh, we keep up with it. If I just go and uh, stand here, actually, there we go. Now you can see they're getting constantly fired out and I can just go and uh, place them uh, straight down immediately. If I kind of face where I'm going to place it anyway, then just as soon as I get it, I just place it immediately. <laughs> there you go. Oh, look. See, like, I got three blue in a row. Like That would seem like it's not random, but because it is completely random, uh, that is a good way to, to force it to be. Oh, I'm getting lots of blue and lots of orange in the, the middle uh, over there. I might actually be able to, to make it even quicker. I don't want to do it too fast, uh, because otherwise then the redstone's going to go all wrong, but there we go. It's going much faster now. Now it's going to be a, <laughs> a challenge to try and keep up with it and uh, place it as fast as it's been fired out. Right, quickly, Lee, quickly, Lee, we need to, to need to place as fast as we can to try and keep up with it. <laughs> We're actually uh, not that far off uh, getting it completely done. It's just kind of this side over here has been uh, slightly neglected. We need to go and try and keep uh, placing it down uh, over this side. I've got to go back and get a, a few more pieces of, of wool and we're not running out are we nope uh, there's still absolutely uh, loads of wool on the uh, the inside uh, there as well and then all of the the walls are going to be also uh, the uh, the same kind of pattern uh, all of the, the the colorful wool over the place and the floor as well we're actually uh, going to be using uh, some stained glass uh, to do the the floor of all of the the same colors and then we can have a, a whole load of uh, glowstone uh, underneath it as well uh, just to, to make the uh, make sure the the whole place uh, is uh, really lit up as well so that's what the uh, the inside's going to, to look like uh, but now we're just down to the uh, the last few blocks that we need to go and place down <laughs> I think there's just two more and we are done all right stop the redstone stop this to firing out or we're gonna get wool all, all over the floor. <laughs> there we go. This is what uh, inside of the uh, the sweetie pie uh, is going to, to look like. Let's put uh, a few torches up uh, so we can see what it's uh, uh, yeah what it looks like uh, lit up. And uh, yeah, once the uh, the walls are just as colourful as well, I think it's going to look really cool. But now uh, what I need to do is go upstairs and uh, do the um, do the pastry. Tell you what, Lee, do you want to stay down here and do you want to build the uh, the walls? And while you're doing that, I'm going to go upstairs and do the the pastry. So you just need to do all of the uh, the same random colours, right? Let me go and uh, uh, set your your redstone off again so you can carry on. <laughs> doing your random pattern right ready steady go 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 quick as you can right so while he's doing that I'm going to go and uh, hop upstairs and uh, I'm going to go and uh, try and do all of the, the pastry up there. And I actually I want to go and uh, have a look at uh, what it looks like so far. There we go. <laughs> that looks very bright and very uh, colorful. So now I'm going to go and uh, do all of the, uh, the the half slabs around here. Um, right. I think some of the uh, the stone is different on one side compared to the, the other. I, mean, I don't think that matters too much because I can cover it over with the, the, wo uh, the wooden planks anyway. Uh, so it shouldn't uh, matter too much. So uh, let's go and uh, make myself. Uh, I need to make myself a, a crafting table first. 
first, I guess. I'm going to place this uh, on the, the edge so it doesn't get in the, the way. And uh, then I can go and make myself uh, a whole load of uh, these uh, these half slabs. And so, as I said, the reason I'm using the, the half slabs is, uh, one, just because they're thinner. And also, I can make it so that when they cross, uh, they're going to be an actual block. Uh, so it will look uh, more like uh, a real pie. So... I'm basically going to do stripes. So I'm going to go, uh, I'm not going to do the very middle, I'm going to start from about here. I'm going to do stripes going along here like this. And uh, these are going to go from one side to the, the other. And then I'm going to do stripes going in the other direction. And uh, then they're going to cross to, to kind of make a, a bit of a, a checkered pattern, uh, I guess. I mean, it will hopefully uh, look like a, a bright sweetie pie uh, once, we're, once we're finished. So let's go and uh, place more half slabs uh, along here like this. Then I just leave a, a gap of one and then go and uh, do the, uh, the next side here and uh, go along here like this. I'm going to place some torches down as well uh, so I have it all lit up and I can see what I'm doing and then leave uh, another gap of one and then keep going this way and then I think um, I can probably do one more row uh, along here and then I can start doing them in the the other direction as well and then I'm just going to go and do uh, a ring around the edges which is going to be like the uh, the nice crust of the uh, the pie and uh, yeah then we could go and uh, pile up and have a look at uh, see what it looks like from uh, above and see if it looks cool I was really thinking that now I've got the the clock tower here I'm worrying much more about what things look like from above <laughs> normally when building all of my buildings I would make sure that it looks good from the the front but you normally wouldn't actually see them much uh, from uh, very high up but now I got my uh, very big clock tower I'm actually really conscious uh, about what these places look like from above so this uh, sweetie pie actually uh, probably won't look that amazing uh, when you look at it from the front because you're just going to kind of see the the stone and it won't look uh, that exciting and you might just see a spider as well <laughs> uh, but yeah when you look at it from the sky uh, then that's when you're going to see that it is a pie and that is all very bright and colorful and uh, yeah then I think it's going to, to look uh, a lot cooler so uh, now I'm going to go across this way and oh I need to, to remember that every time I cross uh, with a uh, another uh, piece of crust uh, then I need to go and build up a, a little bit higher so these bits are going to, to be raised like this if I go along to here and then I need to, to leave a gap of one and then do the same uh, going this way and hopefully uh, it's going to look like a pie it's quite a, a normal traditional looking pie uh, but it's just filled with candy so I've never actually had <laughs> a pie full of candy I don't know how good it would taste but I'm assuming it would taste absolutely amazing that could be one of the uh, the things that we sell I haven't actually decided uh, the uh, the names and uh, the types of all of the the candy that we're going to, to sell I think I'm going to do most of it uh, as if it's um as if it's a uh, dye like the the different dyes you can get I think it will look quite a lot like candy but I need to come up with all the, the names and one of them could be a sweetie pie. <laughs> like I could do like an orange sweetie pie and have it the uh, the pumpkin pie. I could uh, rename it uh, to an orange sweetie pie. That could be quite cool. That could be like the famous well-known dish uh, that we uh, sell in my candy shop. So uh, let's keep doing the, the same pattern. I want to make sure I place the uh, the extra plank uh, in the right place. And oh, nope, that was the, the wrong place there. There we go. That was a demonstration of what not to do <laughs> if you wanted uh, to build one of these yourself. So that needs to go uh, raised there like that. And uh, yeah, that I need to do. I think I got uh, three or four more rows uh, left to do. And uh, yeah, then the uh, the whole outside of my sweetie pie is going to be 100% finished. And I'm actually uh, looking forward uh, to going back inside and uh, seeing how well Lee's doing. Because I want the inside just to be uh, overwhelmingly colourful. I want you just to walk in and be like, whoa, this is a very bright and very colourful place. <laughs> that's the uh, that's the uh, the plan. So we'll see if we have that effect uh, when I walk in. So uh, I just got, I think I got two more rows left to do down this side. I'm going to do some more torches as well, uh, just so I can see what I'm doing. And then I think if I just go back in a, a straight line, uh, like this, this might be the uh, the fastest way to do it. I've got to place one there and one there. No, I want to be careful not just to, uh, to back off the uh, the edge though. And uh, I didn't mean to place that one down there. And I also need to start doing the uh, the outside as well, the actual uh, crust of the pie. I think there's a, a few gaps yeah around here. I need to uh, to make sure all of that's filled in, as you can't see any of the uh, the actual stone through it. There's a few more gaps here. Then I got one final row, and then I believe the uh, the entire outside of my uh, sweetie pie candy shop uh, will be finished. Oh no, there's two more rows, two more rows. But that last row is only a little row though, so <laughs> I'm not going to count. That that one let's do this to, to here and then yeah this is the uh, the final row here i believe if i place one there and then one wait no i did that wrong i think yeah i think this one uh, is supposed to be a uh, low down like that then that one's supposed to be raised and then that one's raised and that one's raised and these ones aren't and then yeah i just need to do the uh, the bits of crust around here so uh, hopefully i've done all of this right i don't think ah where did how did you get up here <laughs> he must have climbed the wall oh, wait I, I use my axe i use my axe i, don't, I can't get my sword in time Woo! That was terrifying. <laughs> I think I've done. I think I need to fill these bits uh, in here a little bit uh, just to make it look the the same as the the other side. And uh, I think this bit uh, shouldn't be raised. That should be down there. And uh, I don't know if that bit's supposed to be raised. Let's go and just have a look at it, shall we? And uh, let's see uh, what it looks like. I'm going to have a a little bit to eat as well. And I can just hear the the dispenser constantly firing down there. I don't know if it's empty or not yet. <laughs> and oh. 
I can also see a creeper. So before I do anything else, uh, let's go and uh, take out the, the evil googly before he takes us out. There we go. And uh, now let's go and uh, climb back onto this dirt here. And I can see uh, what it looks like from uh, from above. Let's try and make a jump across. Whoop! <laughs> and oh, just about. Just about was able to, to stay up. And now let's go and climb up a little bit higher. And uh, let's see what it what it looks like. There we go. This is looking kind of like a pie. I think there's a, a few wonky bits uh, that I need uh, to, to sort out, uh, I think, over in that corner there. But apart from that, I think that this is looking pretty cool already. It's definitely uh, very, very colourful. There's one uh, bit down here which is annoying me, uh, which I want uh, to fill in. And then also down here, I think I need to uh, break this block away here. And then there we go. I think this is pretty much uh, the way it should be. I might have a look at it from the um, uh, the top of the, the hotel, actually. If I go and uh, get my... Uh, uh, my hunger up just to uh, get my health up a bit and uh, let's see if i can end up onto the uh, the top of the um uh, the top of the, the hotel, and then I could see it from the, the top up there. Uh, except remember, as I said, I wanted this to be a, a building uh, that looks really good uh, from high up. And oh, <laughs> that was uh, not a very good ender pearl throw. I'll tell you what, let's go and have a look on the, the inside and uh, see uh, how things are going in here. There we go. <laughs> this is looking very, very colourful. <laughs> uh, good job, Lee Bear. Uh, do you want to come with me? Do you want to go on top of the, the hotel? And uh, we can see what it looks like from uh, from above. Here's uh, an ender pearl, uh, if you didn't have one. And uh, let's see if I can throw this one a little bit better. I need to throw it a little bit further forward. The problem with the hotel is there's a hole right in the middle and oh no <laughs> oh no is Lee done the same oh Lee's grabbed on the edge I can just about see are you okay Lee I can still see you I'm dead <laughs> I'm on the floor but I can still see I think he was just about uh, able to, to stay on the, the edge there <laughs> oh dear well I guess I am not going to go and see what it looks like from above in this episode <laughs> I'm going to go and just run back and uh, grab all of my things again uh, but yeah in the, the next episode uh, we get to go and try and build uh, everything in the, the middle so we're going to do uh, all of the uh, the colourful things add all of the, uh, the, uh, the stained glass and the glow stone and also uh, of course at the most important thing in a candy shop the candy <laughs> and so yeah that's what we're going to be doing in the, the next episode and uh, of course i will be leaving a link in the description for you uh, as soon as that video is online as you can go straight to it if you want to watch it now uh, but for now i want to thank you all very much for watching this video and i will see you all later bye